nice job of Spartan Reptiles. And as I said, I had to make part two of our ball python collection. So here we are. Let's go. Let's check them out. Here we have the pastel het red exanthic. I'm sure everybody remembers his siblings in the Ben Rennick auction. Um, he did come from Fred Kick, just like they did, of course, they're siblings. Um, like I said, a big fan also of the, the Het Red and Super Red Xanthics. I think they're amazing animals. And uh, he's not going to cooperate. He's not going to let me show his head. That's why they call him a ball python. Looks like a couple donuts to me. Maybe I need some more milk. Uh, but, I mean, as you can tell, if you look at their pattern, I mean, the pastel gene and the Het Red Xanthic gene, just they complement each other so well. Um, I love the flaming on the sides and the, how the Het Red Exanthic just outlines the pattern. And it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's just an amazing looking morph. And uh, I'm really glad I got it. Oh, there he goes. He's going to poke his head out. And I actually named him Odysseus. Um, a lot of my snakes do have Greek names, named after Greek gods, goddesses, uh, towns, cities, all based on ancient Greece. Um, yet again, that's the reason why uh, I give them the names is because the, the, you know, the business names, Spartan Reptiles. Uh, what made me decide to do that is, you know, I wanted to combine two of my passions together and uh, make it one. And what better way to do it, you know, use my love for Greek mythology and my love for ball pythons and just put them together. But there you have it. He's keying in on me. He's like, hey, stick your hand over here. I want to bite you. But there's my Mel Pastel Het Red Xanthic. And this, my friends, is a super Het Red Xanthic, or as they call them, just a Red Xanthic. Nice crazy pattern. Real nice cream color. Uh, really dark background uh, currently right now. Um, he is still growing up to be a breeder. So I'm waiting to see you know, what his color changes do. Uh, I really love how the lips where the heat pits are, are like almost a tan color. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can really pick it up very well on the camera. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a cool gene. Uh, Corey Woods does some awesome stuff with the gene. And uh, I really like, really, really like it. Always have. Uh, took me a little while to actually find people that were working with them. And I got him from Dynasty Reptiles. And uh, I'm really glad I did. did. And uh, I just think it's an awesome morph to work with. It's just really, really cool. And just look at that. Ain't that awesome? And then we have my Pastel Piebald. I like the medium white pies. In my opinion, that's what I like in a pied. I mean, the high whites are cool. The low whites are cool. Uh, I personally like the medium whites. I think it's just an awesome uh, display of the patterning. And uh, I love the white. I just love the amount of white. Just gives the snake so much more character. Uh, this is one that I am... Uh, putting with the pastel mystery gene. And uh, like I said, I'm hopefully can, uh, can see what happens with uh, that gene and the piebald gene and see what it does and see how it turns out. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, everybody loves piebald. Got to have them in the collection. And uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, just this is Dr. Lecter. <laughs> You know, he's still looking for Clarice. But yep, just an awesome example. He, uh, he doesn't have any emojis on him. And, I, you know, I'm okay with that. But uh, he does have some just really crazy cool patterning. I, I love it. I love how the pastel and the pied react. But there you go. And everybody remembers this guy. From our favorite pinstripe. This is the yellow belly pinstripe male. Uh, his name is Agamemnon. 
after the famous king that uh, attacked the ancient city of Troy. This is also the same guy who bit me five times in the same video, which unfortunately I, I edited that video, took those out, and I should have left them. Uh, he'll be breeding not this season, but next season he'll be breeding. He'll actually be going with the yellow belly that I got from Mike. But uh, there you have it. I'll show you his cantankerous little attitude. This is Magnus, guys. This is the only male that came in that project from Justin Kabolka. He is in the mystery gene complex. Or actually, you should say he is a single gene. Uh, like I said again, you know, formerly the Y gene project that uh, Justin had. Crazy patterns. I mean, just amazing. Uh, I love this. And... Uh, I'm really looking forward to working this project really, really heavily uh, over the next several years. Uh, I just can't wait to see what it does. It is an amazing, amazing genetic. It is, like I said, it has been proven to be. Just look at that pattern. The flaming, the blushing, how the whites from the belly come up into the sides. I know a lot of people were in the tracks. Uh, when Justin first discovered this, these genes, or the, well, the big founding female, uh, he actually thought she was a vanilla. And then after breeding it uh, a couple times and producing as what you see here today, uh, he did find out it's not a vanilla. Uh, it was something different. It was something unique. And... Uh, I got to thank you, Justin. I, I think I appreciate the chance to buy into this project and uh, have a chance to work with it. Um, I hate to say, you know, I'm, I'm sorry you didn't have time to work with it, but hey, uh, you got to cut your, you know, you got to decide what you really want to focus on. And, you know, that's important. And I admire that and I respect that very much. Um, but again, this is the male. And he is actually a daddy to the, the hatchlings that I got as well. And uh, I, I just can't wait to work with it. This is one of the female hatchlings that I just showed you. Or just showed you as her father. Her name is Afia. She is a single gene. Um, still displays those crazy patterns. Nice flaming still. Uh, the whites from the belly coming up and bleeding into the side pattern and even into the blushing areas. But as you can see, I mean, just crazy, crazy pattern. Um, you know, I think this thing would be awesome with some leopard. Uh, I probably will be adding a couple male clowns so I can get some hets and work that side of the the uh, pendulum as well and see what happens with the clown gene with it. But there she is, guys. She's just an awesome, awesome looking snake. And then we have the final hatchling that's in the mystery project. Uh, this one actually is Really, really awesome looking. Uh, really clean. Still got some crazy alien heads. Um, still has the blushing. This one doesn't like to cooperate very well. Uh, still has the blushing going up through the sides. Um, her pattern is just a much lighter color. Uh, Justin and I are thinking that uh, this could possibly be the super form. Or it's just a really, really nice example of that particular genetic. So, yep, she'll be raised up and bred and see what happens. You know, I'd really like to prove it out as a co-dominant trait. Uh, 
that would be awesome. Even if I can't though, and it, it is just a, a dominant trait, hey, that's fine too. I'm totally happy with that. I uh, really look forward to working this project into many, many other uh, ideas and different areas on the pendulum, you know, and uh, I'm just looking forward to it. I also uh, like to take time right now to go ahead and give Duncan's Ball Pythons or Duncan's Pythons a shout out. Uh, if you guys don't follow him on YouTube, definitely check his channel out. Uh, he's definitely putting together, you know, a collection that's uh, just, he's putting some good stuff together. I'm uh, looking forward to see what he does in the future with those. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's putting videos out. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, He's passionate about it. He really wants to get into it. Uh, and hey, props to you, brother. I mean, I, I hope you do, and I wish you all the success in the world. And uh, but yeah, everybody, definitely go to Duncan's Pythons, check his channel out, watch his videos, uh, subscribe, hit that like button, notification notification bell, and uh, subscribe. You know, uh, I think he's gonna do wonderful things with the animals that he's got, and. Uh, I just enjoy watching this collection grow. Um, and then uh, Doug over Hissy Fit Reptiles. Dude, I'm glad you, you know, finally got into your new place. Uh, I know you've been working a lot. I, I feel you, brother. I know how that goes. Uh, I love your giveaway idea. Um, if you guys didn't watch that last video, check it out. Doug over Hissy Fit Reptiles has a ball python giveaway he's doing. And uh, he's got some cool animals and some really cool ideas. He's also got a Patreon page. Um, so if you guys want to help him out with that, uh, definitely check him out on Patreon. And uh, as always, from all of us here at uh, Smart Reptiles, keep on herping. I also wanted to share with you guys uh, my t-shirt that I just had made for Smart Reptiles. Um, you can actually, if you're interested, I mean, I'm not going to beg anybody to buy anything, but uh, if you guys want to uh, purchase a shirt, help advertise for me. Um, basically, the reason why I'm making these shirts is so I can make a little extra money, so I can really update uh, my collection and, you know, new racks, uh, some more thermostats, and, you know, just, just supplies to help... Uh, Get it going a little bit better. Um, but the, anyway, here's the shirt. Here's the front. It is uh, my Dare to Dream t-shirt. And on the back it just says, Spartan Reptiles, Libby, Montana. That's probably totally going to come out backwards on the video. Um, but yeah, you can just go to teespring.com and then search in Spartan Reptiles Dare to Dream t-shirt. Uh, and you can find them there and order them. Uh, there is also a women's t-shirt uh, as well. And uh, it's a really cool shirt. I haven't gotten one of those in yet for me yet. Or for my, well, not for me, but you know, for my wife and my daughter. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're buying the shirts too. So uh, yeah, definitely check it out. And if you guys want to purchase a shirt, like I said, just go to teesprings.com. I'll put a link down below uh, so you guys can do it. You guys can also find it on my Facebook page uh, as well uh, for all those who follow me on Facebook. Uh, like I said, I mean, the only reason I'm doing the shirts, for one, is to get the name out there. Uh, and for two to help fund uh, the snake business, you know, it's it's uh, even though I work a lot and I, I don't make bad money, uh, but I got five kids, so you know that costs a lot of money right there. That's a whole another hobby. <laughs> Just kidding, but uh, yeah, definitely check out the shirts. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are interested, uh, like I said, you can go to teespring.com in the search field, Spark Reptiles, their dream T-shirt. Or you can contact me by Instagram or on Facebook as well. 